Bangalore have finally registered their first victory in the WPL at the hands of UP. They were sent in and put on a modest total and unfortunately weren't able to defend it. And no doubt the Bangalore fans were happy. The game was won in two areas. Firstly, Sophie Devine opened the bowling. Now we haven't seen her do it in a while, but she was able to pick up both openers, Devika Vidya and Elisa Healy. From there, again, UP lost wickets in clumps. It wasn't until Grace Harris and Dipti Sharma put on a partnership that you felt that the UP side was going to get over or around 150, but it was Elise Perry that picked up both of them in the one over. And then on the flip side, despite RCB losing regular wickets, and you almost felt like they probably thought, here we go again, it was Kanika who was able to come out and play with wonderful intent to take on the inner circle and find the boundaries. Her 46 runs were really crucial. There are a number of standout players. You could potentially give it to Elise Perry and what she was able to do with the ball, picking up those two crucial wickets in the 16th over. But I'm actually going to give it to Kanika. I think her innings was really important. Known for going and lapping and, and getting it behind the wicket, I thought her intent early on was excellent. She was able to access the, the boundaries straight on and then when the field changed, she was able to go to her strength. That innings was really important given the fact that the main stars in Bangalore didn't fire. Standout moment of the match has to go to Elise Perry because she was able to dislodge both of the set batters in the 16th over. Dipti Sharma, she was probably lucky the first ball, it was a low full toss that probably should have been hit for six but caught on the boundary. But it was a clever piece of bowling to bounce Grace Harris and get that top edge to fly through to the keeper. That's what enabled Bangalore to keep UP down to a total of 135. WPL table, well, Mumbai sit on top in pretty because they've qualified first. Bangalore finally get off the bottom and Gujarat now just swap with them. Thursday night, it's a chance for Gujarat to find another victory and to give themselves every opportunity to make the finals. Yet they're coming up against Delhi, a side that are firing from a batting perspective. You'd expect, given the fact that Delhi have been going well, they had a great game against Gujarat. They won by 10 wickets. It was an easy chase for Lanning and Shafali Verma. But what they'll need to do from Delhi's perspective is you want Shikha Pandey and Marazan Cap to fire as well. In terms of Gujarat, you need Ash Gardner to step up. She needs to be able to contribute a, a good total of runs. And then if she can get someone else to go around her, whether it be a Dunkley, whether it be an S Megna, they all need to fire just to give their bowlers a little bit of a, a leeway. But it's going to be an important clash for Gujarat. So tune in to Crick Buzz.